Hello Pandora lovers, my name is Melanie and welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a beautiful day. Now before I begin, I would like to say a big thank you for subscribing to my channel. Now today I'm making a video to answer some questions relating to the tea bar that I received from a subscriber. Now the first question was how it compares uh, to filling the bracelet to a third and then filling it up to a hundred percent. Now in my other videos I usually only fill it a third but this one I decided to completely fill it up so there's no basic um, there's no theme to this bracelet. Now this bracelet can be filled up okay from end to end but you do have to leave some space for movement or else the charms are going to scrape it and scratch against each other and you won't be able to actually curve the bracelet around your wrist okay it's going to be too tight and it won't let you and if you force it you're risking breaking the actual snake chain bracelet now i do recommend putting the clips right at the ends okay they do stay put right here before the smooth um, part now I usually wear a 7.5 snake chain bracelet okay now this t-bar bracelet that you're looking at is a 7.9 and with it being full it is very tight um, that it's very hard to actually grab it and uh, twist it around my wrist, okay? But do realize that this bracelet is still new and it has not relaxed, okay? So with time, it will relax, but again, it will take time. So if you're filling it a third, I recommend to go one size up. Like for example, I'm a 7.5 and I went up to a 7.9. Now if you plan on filling the entire bracelet and adding Muranos or large charms because they are technically chunkier than your traditional charms, then I recommend you to go two sizes up. Now this is all personal choice to be honest because I like my bracelets to actually go lower than the wrist line. And when I say the wrist line, I literally mean like when you lift your hand up, upwards, okay? This is what I mean by the wrist line. I like my Pandora bracelet to actually curve down towards the hand. So I am probably gonna have to buy, well, not have to, but I would love to buy another one of these bracelets. Um, but if I'm going to consider filling it up, which eventually I would like to have a couple of bracelets that are full, I'm going to have to go for an 8.3. Now that will be two sizes up from the 7.5. Because traditionally I wear the 7.5, I went to a 7.9, and now I'm going to go to an 8.3 if I want to fill the entire bracelet okay because honestly I'm in love with these two two-tone clips with the freehand uh, rose gold heart and I think it would look fantastic to have two at the ends and two also on the clip stations now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all the charms okay and show you my trick on how to put this bracelet on and how I take it off stay tuned all right ladies so what you have in front of you is the same bracelet except I took off the um, all of the rest of the charms now when we make these videos it's very hard to include all the information because sometimes there are things that we don't think of at the time that we do the review. Now, one thing I forgot to have mentioned in my other videos is that the loop here that you put the T-bar in, 
okay, the little loop. Now, it's not a perfect circle, okay? It may look like a perfect circle when you first get it, but it's not. It's like an oval, okay? And here we have the T-bar, which is hollow underneath, and it has a little loop that connects to the chain. Okay, now when you go to pass the T-bar in the loop, you actually have to put the T-bar in, but on the side. Okay, and I'll show you what I mean. Now let's grab this. All right. So you see here, ladies? The loop is an oval. And do you guys see the little loop that's right here that connects to the chain? Okay. Now, how to put this through is that you actually have to have the hollow part pointing downwards or upwards. Okay. And what I like to do is instead of looping it from the top to bottom, I go from the bottom up. Okay. So I grab this like this okay now this is pointing downwards so we insert because that's the only way the little loop is going to fit if you try to put it in the other side okay you're going to fight with it and then we just do that okay so again when you go to um, undo it do the same process okay you can even put the chain near in front of the hollow part of the t-bar and simply slide down and it just goes through okay because I was wondering sometimes how come it was tight sometimes when I was opening it up and how come it was loose on other occasions that is why okay so realize that it's so hard to grasp sometimes. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so again, T-bar, hollow part towards you. Go up, just grab the end, pass it through. Okay. And also, when you open this and it's on your wrist, you actually want to make sure the chain is pulled as far as you can. Okay. And then we just insert and then it opens now my trick okay if you have or if you have a third or a full what you do is you just lean your hand against your chest okay now this is a trick for all ladies doesn't matter if you've got small chest or a larger chest uh, both tricks work okay so I'm going to show you that next. Now, make sure there's a clip if you do fill it up or else, well, actually the T-bar will hold, will stop your charms from falling. Okay, so you take your bracelet. Now, what I like to do is take the clip and just basically snug it under your boob, okay? <laughs> now, take the T-bar and you go from underneath, okay? But do make sure that it's pointing towards you, the hollow point. Uh, actually, and when you put it on your wrist like this, you actually want it to go to the side, okay? So then we simply go in. Now this is very hard to show on a camera. So I've got half of the bar in. Now I have to twist this to the side so it actually 
goes in just like that okay now if you want to take it off I recommend either doing that over a microfiber towel okay or hold on to it with your chest and simply pull the chain the t-bar down insert the end in the actual circle with the hollow point point pointing or squeeze to your thumb and then you just let it go through okay and that is how you put on and take off your bracelet all right ladies now i truly hope that this little video has helped into figuring out how to open clothes and like i said the size is a personal personal preference um, you have to actually look well you have to look at your collection and see what is the normal length that you wear uh, number two is do you buy retail or do you buy secondhand because sometimes when you buy secondhand it's easier to get an idea of how your bracelet is going to relax um, that's why I usually buy my bracelets already relaxed so I don't have to wait like three months or however long it takes for a bracelet to relax so if you have any more questions don't hesitate to ask. I do know that the video is a little bit hard to see when I'm actually putting the bracelet on and off, but do practice and practice putting on your bracelet and taking it off when it's empty. Okay, because there's nothing worse than getting super frustrated when your bracelet is too full and it hasn't relaxed. It is difficult um, and it does get frustrating. So ladies, don't get frustrated. Again, practice with it empty. Okay, so if you like this video, click like. If you wish to subscribe, I would love you to do so. And if you have any comments or questions, don't hesitate to ask. Okay, um, I do answer the questions, I do reply, and sometimes I will actually make a video as a second reply. Okay? So have yourselves a great day.